Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Today we are looking at some pennies with no date that are worth some good money. So we'll show you what these coins sold for at auction, different types of mint errors on these coins that you know are pretty extreme, but some maybe that you can look for on your coins and your coin collection. So if you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. As always, let's just hop into this one. Starting off first here with a no dated Lincoln cent that has been double struck. Uh, so we'll see both of those strikes off center. Now here's another example of a double struck Lincoln cent where both strikes are off center. Sold with the previous coin, the first coin we looked at, for over $100. So, you know, 50 bucks a piece, you know, uh, you're not really making too much money on those. Here is a no dated Lincoln cent that has a huge broad strike and a brockage on the obverse of the coin. Look at that. That's just an amazing looking type of mint error. This coin sold for over $115. Now here's a Lincoln cent that has a counter brockage. So here on the reverse of the coin looks very normal. Here on the obverse you'll really see that mint error taking place. It is graded by NGC at a mint state 64 red brown and this penny sold for over $115 as well. Now here is a no data Lincoln cent uh, that has uh, been struck off center on a double clipped planchet. Uh, so we'll see that there's not much left of this coin uh, at all. It's a clipped planchet here and this coin or penny sold uh, for over $125. Moving right along to a Lincoln cent where the obverse was struck through a cloth. So this is pretty cool. Uh, these types of errors are really interesting. We're gonna look at a couple different examples here. Uh, so when the coin was being produced, some type of cloth got in the way. That's why you can see the texture of a cloth on the obverse here of this Lincoln cent. Uh, reverse looks very normal. But because of that, this coin sold for over $185. Here's a different example of that. A penny here being struck through a cloth on the reverse of this Lincoln cent. This coin ended up selling for over $325. And then here's a more valuable penny here that sold for $340. We'll actually see that the obverse was struck through a cloth. It is graded at a red, Mint State 66 red, and it has a partial collar as well. And like I say, $340 for that coin. Here's another no dated Lincoln cent, of course, because we're looking at no dated pennies. The obverse has been struck through a capped die, so the reverse is gonna be very normal. But here on the obverse is where we see that capped die error taking place. Uh, you can look for these on all kinds of different coins. Some are gonna be fairly common in different conditions. Uh, you know, some can be more valuable. For this coin, it only sold for around 35 bucks, so not really worth having graded unless you just wanna keep it in a coin uh, holder. Now, this coin here is uh, a capped die as well, struck through a capped die, uh, but it looks a little more interesting and it is graded at a red instead of a red brown. Uh, this coin sold for a little over $85. Here is a no dated Lincoln cent that has a brockage error and a broad strike. Uh, so this coin sold for around 70 US dollars in this condition at a mint state 66 red, graded by coin grading company PCGS. Now here's a very cool coin. This has all kinds of errors going on here. Uh, you know, some people may get this confused. I get a lot of images of vice jobs where people intentionally uh, put a penny on top of another penny, clamp them together to kind of get a similar look to this. But this is actually a mint error. And this coin sold for around $100. Not too bad, I'd pay 100 bucks to add this to my collection. Now here's a Lincoln cent that was struck 75% off center. Uh, you know, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins. Uh, it does have a uniface obverse. Uh, this coin here sold for around 30 US dollars. Now here's a regular off-center coin, uh, graded at a mint state 65 red. This coin sold for around $40. Again, you can have some off-centers that could be very valuable, some more common. Uh, so this one, you know, uh, not too, uh, you know, sought after, you know, 1990s off-center error, can't see the date only 40 bucks for that coin. Uh, so I would buy it graded like this, but I personally wouldn't have it graded uh, because you're not gonna make uh, a big profit off something like that. Now here is a no data Lincoln cent that was not only struck off center, it was actually struck off center onto a Roosevelt dime planchet, a 10 cent planchet. 
Uh, so that will give it a lot of value. And this coin ended up selling for over $700 can't beat that. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.